All right, so um, this is Ian. Kyle's here too. Hi. We're um we're in a car. Kyle's car. It's a comfy little car. We're heading off to um Lockhart. Um, have you heard of Lockhart? I'll answer that for you. You haven't heard of Lockhart, um, even if you live in Texas. And if you have heard of Lockhart, you know that it's called Lockhart. I think and that's actually the name of several small towns around the country. Well, probably, but our Lockhart is just like all other Lockharts in that if you know its name is Lockhart, you know about as much about it as anybody else does, except the unfortunate souls who live in the Lockharts. Um, it's about an hour away from where we are. We're going to go pick up Ricky, because, you know, Ricky just makes for better time in general. So... And we just need Ethan. Oh, dear God. <laughs> the four of us in one car. I feel like John would, like, jump out of a helicopter with a, you know, an RPG and just <laughs> put the world out of its misery or something. But anyway, we'll be doing a montage sort of thing of our conversation, which, you know, is, it might be interesting. We've been known to be... Hold on. Even when we're doing um, this, your phone interrupts oh, it. I, well, um... Director Campbell needs me. Four, three, two. We actually record started recording three seconds ago. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Oh, another fine white lightning production. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> so, anyways, we were talking about the Avengers. Ricky, thoughts? Uh, Iron Man three featuring the Hulk. Yes, was, but I'm not talking about that. I'm ta- it was a this? decent movie. That movie, like... Wait, uh, you're like, talking about it like it's already... Oh, okay, I see. Oh, I see what's happening. Oh, I get it you now. get the joke. It's, it's not a joke. It it's took a, me a while. Because they just released... <laughs> they started releasing Iron Man 3 production stills today. Really? Oh, did they? They, they released Are it they on. really actually doing an Iron Man 3? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're yeah. They're doing that. Captain America 2 and Thor 2. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know why Thor I don't, 2. I don't understand how Captain America 2 happens. Well, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I actually like, like Captain America. I like, I'm pretty sure, like, by the time he defrosts, like, all of Hydra is gone because... You know, the thing is about Hydras, though. Because I mean, you cut them off all one Hydras place and they, they, they grow up twice as big. <laughs> um, um, but... So, yes, yeah, so well, what is it? They're really think? making Iron Man 3? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where yeah. do you go from... It was already planned, but the, the director of the last two isn't going to be doing it. Yeah, but he's going to be in it. Sad. But that doesn't matter. He's in all sorts of things. Where do yeah. you go from? Where do you? Where do you progress? He's been the Iron the Man two. character. Oh, you, well, you know, um, he, they haven't actually talked about his alcoholism, alcoholism or drug abuse yet. <laughs> I mean, because you know, as we all know, Robert Downey Jr. is one of those actors who really only plays Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. Um, although here, here's where I actually had a problem with the Avengers. Like Joss Whedon is fantastic. I love Joss Whedon to death. He's a very particular kind of writing. Oh, well, I've got a quick. Quick, quick thing with the Avengers. Jab at it. Uh, why does Hawkeye have an arrow that plugs directly into that thing to turn off all the computers? Why does he have that arrow? In case he needs to plug it into that thing and turn <laughs> like, off all it, of the it's computers. Not like, it's not like it, it was like this is a what, regular plug. It was some weird like six prong two way plug was, that was only on that airship. Them, Obviously, he anticipated needing to hack out into his own group security <laughs> system. Well, I mean, wouldn't you? You know, this is what happens when we all switch to micro USB. <laughs> like, <laughs> just no security left in the world whatsoever. <laughs> like, because I can understand. Miles, keep left. I can understand like the arrow with the rope. The arrow with the bullets, the arrow with the backwards bullets, but the arrow that plugs directly into that perfect little six-prong plug that you auto know what? shuts I, I down. Actually, I Who actually puts could... a plug that auto shuts down every computer on the on the ship? I think they had John design it. <laughs> <laughs> I could really use one of those arrows though. Like I'm sitting across the room and I really need to plug in my laptop, and it's just like uh, I can't reach it. <laughs> just... But so, so Joss Whedon, right? He writes very particularly, and it's been a, it's a noted problem that people like um, generally sort of misreading his lines. Should like, we say spoiler alert right now? I mean, too we, late. I think we'll just have to they should it. have seen it by now. Okay, well, we should just like put a giant spoiler alert thing before this all happens. Okay, um, but so uh, what's it called? What you calls it? Oh, you know the X Men line, like the the, stu- the stupid storm and toad line. In, uh, in the movie X-Men? The original X-Men, yes. Yes. You know, what happens to a toad? Do you know what happens yeah. to a toad? gets struck by yeah, lightning? Yeah. See, yeah. the thing is, that was supposed to be a really offhand, casual, kind of quippy line. And she decided to, to you know, 
go at it, yeah. Just like be like melodramatic as all get out for it. So, this is kind of the problem with Joss Whedon. That's how mine are gonna be, isn't it? I'm gonna have to be like right there and like forcing everybody to do it exactly right. Because pretty much if you don't read it like Kyle, you can't read it, you're not reading it right. (laughs) Joss Whedon's the same way. Robert Downey Jr. is also kind of the exact same way, right? Like, he has, Iron Man is great because of this very particular form of stark snark, right? That's awesome. And (laughs) also his light was inconsistent. What? Like his little chest light thing? Yeah, yeah, no, sometimes it was there and sometimes it wasn't. I guess we're just supposed to assume he was dead then. Well, look, because, like, <laughs> I, I would be like, some people could be like, well, it was a different shirt, but no, no, no. There's was, definitely scenes where he's wearing the Black Sabbath shirt, which was awesome. They yeah. wore a Black Sabbath shirt. But, like, he was wearing a Black Sabbath shirt and you couldn't see through it. And I was like, sure, it doesn't shine through the yeah, Black then, Sabbath then later, shirt. You can totally and then later it's shining through the Black Sabbath shirt. And I'm like, oh, okay. Maybe it's like, you know, Maybe a heart. lights up when he stresses out yeah, or something. Yeah, it's like he just needs to do more work when he's done. Sure. But so. Iron Man was actually a big disappointment, I think, in the event. Not a big disappointment, but, like, there are times when I think, you know, I can see how that line was supposed to be delivered, and he did not deliver it correctly. Which line? Um, a bunch of them, actually. A lot of his lines. But All of Robert Downey Jr.'s lines were delivered like like Robert Downey Jr. Well, no, delivers see, his lines. The thing is, if he had delivered them as Joss Whedon wanted him to deliver, they would have sounded better, but they would not but have sounded would. like Iron Man. Yeah. Or like, like like the billionaire philanthropist Playboy line, yeah. that was so awesome in the trailer. They managed to flub it in the movie somehow. Like they I had a different works pretty well, and they had a different take of it. I think I don't know. Maybe that was just me. No, but, and he's like, it's like take off the suit and who are you? And he's just like, well, but he, he was I'm a bit more stark. snarky about That's it. That's who I, I am. The, trailer. the original, the the director of the Iron Man movies was. Um, what was his name? John Favreau. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like him a lot. I, I think he did a really good job. At, uh, well, is he still producing by chance? Um, possibly. Uh, Whose phone know. is that? I, I'm really just going to, like... The goal is just to have that in every single one of our our montage bits <laughs> this trip. Um, um, side note, um, because of the trailer of the new Spider-Man movie, which I was already going to go see it at midnight, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Spider-Man. I knew it was going to be bad, but now I have Wait. hope that it won't be bad. I didn't think it was going to be bad. Oh, no, it's that, that's like, the thing. Like, I, was... I now have hopes that it won't be bad, not because of any of the cool special effects or any, like, how oh. they're taking it darker or anything like that, but simply because of the the scene where he's stopping the carjacker and the dude pulls the knife oh, at him. Yeah, yeah, I love that. It's yeah, because, because, that's why I, I think that's this what... one will be really fun because it'll be a lot more like the com- the comics and the well, other ones with uh, Tobey Maguire. Like, Tobey Maguire did great. But he was not like he was not snarky enough. Yeah. He was not the best with his, you know, you know, one-liners and sarcasm and stuff. Like he had every every now and then he had a good one. Well, you this know? is why I've always actually kind of liked the Ultimate Universe Spider-Man better. Yeah, yeah, I totally which is, with that. I think that's it, what this is based on. No, this is the stupidest thing. So once Spider-Man Just calling his, it, they're gonna go through the Clone Saga with this guy. I, I, maybe. I'm thinking yeah. Clone Saga. But like, so they they actually, you know. Once Spider-Man... Have I done this on the show already? I think I probably it's have. It's a yellow light. Yeah. I seem to really talk about Spider-Man multiple times, actually. I remember one of our first really great episodes about Spider-Man. Yeah, the second um, one. But the... Uh, uh, so, once Spider-Man actually gets his own comic book, it's called The Amazing Spider-Man. Right? Yeah. Yes. Now they are going... Now that they are going away from the, uh, the Tobey Maguire franchise and starting up their new franchise, they're basing it off of The Ultimate Spider-Man which you can see because of the long skinny symbol and he's still in high school and all that thing. Yeah. But they are now calling it The Amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> this sounds like something that we would do. <laughs> I, though, uh, I hope Bruce Campbell gets a cameo in this movie. He was a friend of Sam Raimi's, I thought. Who's, wait, like yeah, Bruce Campbell? he was. He was like, like, um... Uh, I just want to see it. You know really the, the first Spider-Man movie where they have the, the wrestling announcer? The wrestling mm-hmm. announcer? You, hold on. Do you not know who Bruce Campbell is? No. Have you ever uh, seen Army of Darkness? Evil Dead? No. Evil Dead 2? No. Uh, Bruce Campbell is one of these... Once you know him, you he is... He's, he's another a b- B-movie cult horror film sweet star. Heart. Like, yeah. everybody loves Bruce Campbell. And um, Like, I know the name. So he was the wrestling announcer in the first one. He's the uh, doorman at the theater that doesn't let Peter Parker through. Oh, wait, I remember hearing in about In the second guy. one. And then he's the, like, and the, the French waiter. He's the, like, the French maitre d' in the third film. Yeah. Like, they really wanted him to, uh, like, actually have a serious role. There were theories that he was going to be Mysterio or a chameleon. Yeah, but but see, the thing is, he was like, 
I would already love to see Mysterio. Been, I, I, I've already been I would have loved to see you know, him be Mysterio, like, if they continued with the Tobey Maguire series. Yeah. Like, that would make sense. I think it's probably pretty good that they, they cut off Tobey well, where they yeah, did. Yeah, I think they'll probably he'd have be able like to feed this one in with the rest of their movies eventually, too, if they want. I mean, it's just... I like, you the, know, t- I like the trilogy for what it is. The first and third are better than the second. See, most what? people really hated the third one. Yeah, I no, like the, the third one. I also really, really like the second one. Uh, yeah, no. no, I think the second one was kind of the best, actually. No. That's, what, that's the general opinion. I mean, the first one was the second best. You couldn't have done any better the on the first one. The first one is my favorite comic movie still. Yeah. Like, you number just, one. You can't, you know, you have to do the origin story. You had Tobey Maguire was great. Freaking whoever they got to be. James Jameson was amazing. Yeah. The, uh, Willem Dafoe as the Green Goblin. Willem Dafoe was, was crazy excellent. and awesome. James and Franco, just because, you know. Yeah, why not? It was it was quality. Um, the second one, I thought, improved in all the right ways. The third one... Their I take re- on Doc, Dr. Octopus was pretty awesome, too. But, you know, I like the just, second one. I like all of them. But I just don't... I don't like the second one as much as I like the first and the third. I You know, lots of people hated the third. I thought the third was okay. Well, that's the thing. It wasn't bad. It was just, like, It was just average. okay. Yeah. There's also the, the thing that the director really hates Venom for some reason. Well, like, the sh- it wasn't supposed Why? to be about it's Venom. Funny. It was supposed to be about the symbiote suit. Well, that's more dumb, than Venom. Venom's more interesting. Like, Venom, I mean... No, because the symbiote suit's more interesting because it's, it's... Yeah, but if they did it, it right, it'd like, be more interesting. If they, didn't, it didn't actually well, cause well, the same they effect. rushed Venom but the, because the problem, people got excited when yeah. they showed the like black he, suit. He didn't want to have Venom in any of the movies because he's just not a fan of Venom. He didn't want to have Venom as an enemy. But I love that character. I know, Why everybody does. So so he's like, he, he's like, okay, how about this? I'll put him in, but for like, you know... Ten minutes, okay. <laughs> I like I like the shrimpy Eddie Brock more than the muscular Eddie Brock. Well, yeah. In all honesty, I do. The uh, the appropriate way to have handled it, I think, was to have done the third movie about the symbiote suit and set up the fourth movie to be a Venom movie. Yeah. Um. So hopefully they set I, up the fourth one to be Lizard. Yeah. Um, which it now is. Anyway. Which it now yeah. is sort of yeah. You know, he made a the, the, the professor was in the other movies. Yeah. Yeah. Much. Um. Is Venom in the Ultimate Universe? I guess he must be. Yeah. No, they do all of them. In- so hopefully we'll actually get like a real legit He's kind of venom. An important one. I mean, you have like you know, him, I'm, Green Goblin, and Doc Doc Ock are like the, the yeah. Biggest. I mean, he he is the I anti like, Spidey. I like the yeah. Sandman. All the action scenes were great. Sandman was a good touch. I think they did him well. Like, uh, freaking Harry losing his memory and then regaining it was pretty good. You know, there's some dumb things in that movie. The only part but, I didn't like was just the what. Like his reaction to the suit was wrong. It's supposed to make him just like violent and hurt people. No, but it instead just it made changed him. him. Yeah. It made him. It made him. You know, just kind instead of, of like being shy and he... timid, he yeah. was, became a douchebag. <laughs> That's the opposite of shy and timid. I thought also, it was fine. They did not was... kill Gwen Stacy. Yeah, they did well, not. she was supposed to be there. Like, I mean, if, yeah, if she's the following first... the actual timeline. You know what the funny thing is? Gwen Stacy doesn't have a face. Yeah, you, you did talk about that. Did I? Yeah, oh. You're just repeating all your Spider-Man well, things now. What, Probably. What, what, what? Gwen Stacy doesn't have a face? He, in the comic books, Gwen Stacy doesn't have a face. All the women in the comic book, in the early Spider-Man comics, don't have faces because he wasn't sure how he wanted to draw them yet. So they just always have hair in front of their faces. Mm-hmm. So Gwen Stacy doesn't actually have a face. Nice. But, uh... Hopefully she'll die in this one. <laughs> I don't think she'll die. I just really well, want her dead. But she has to be killed by a certain character if they're following it right. The one thing I don't yeah, like yeah, about right. the trailers is they show him with his mask off way too much. It's like, you know, the third Harry Potter movie where they're like, screw school ro- school robes. We're just going to have everybody in jeans. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just like, a style thing. No, no, no. Like, I don't know. Like, you know, because in the first one, like, yeah, the mask like sort of shreds a bit, but it doesn't like come all the way off even in the first one. They're also using synthetic spinners in this one. Well, that's good. Well, that's good. That's how it shows I, I it really makes in, it more the nerdy, sarcastic, you know, kid. I, just, I enjoyed the organic spinners. I, I, actually, I thought he actually had organic spinners in the Ultimate Universe. I don't know if he did or not. The originals, like, when it first started, he built them. Yeah, himself. I know. But that doesn't make any sense. Like, half of my superpower it does, like, is one thing, and half the superpower is something I could have done if I had never been in contact with the spider at all. Well, except that he probably wouldn't no, survive most of the impacts following... Yeah, it's all the strengthened I mean, I body guess. and the spider I wouldn't the spider be able to do sense. that. I wouldn't make it through one swing. It just... I mean, haven't you seen people on a, a America's Funny Some videos on, like, ropes over the lake yeah. and stuff? You know what? I'm going to look this up, actually, right now. Ultimate Spider-Man. I want you to have organic sp- spinners, but also, um, so that also means they can bring up in the movie that he when he runs out. Yeah, that that's too. true. Rather than Tobey Maguire just like, oh, I don't want to be Spider-Man anymore, so now it stops working. Which I liked, you know. It's kind of funny, but um, 
Like, because honestly, in the second one, when he ran out of a web the first time I saw it, I thought it was because they weren't actually, like, like, he didn't actually make the web. Like, he, you know, made those things. I wonder if you have to have, like, a certain diet to keep making web. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, need the right nutrients. The thing I didn't like about that either is just how conveniently it was placed right in his wrists. Like, how does no one it himself, notice it? Oh, I mean, the whole thing. I mean, if it just organically appears... Why would it appear there? I mean, why would you be bit by a radioactive spider and not die, <laughs> I still, Kyle? I, but I, I, like, I don't know. It it just one when, thing too far. I'm, all fair. I'm saying is it nobody when, ever notices those when things. Mess things. Up. I'm pretty sure they, they do do really well, and they always have them wearing long sleeves. But, I mean, somebody eventually... Aunt May is going to, like, oh, yeah, Peter, what the hell is on your arm? <laughs> it just bugs me. It's a glandular up issue. Up within the yeah. context um, of their own, like, world. Like, as long as you set the rules and then follow them, I'm okay. But if you start messing them up afterwards, even if they're nonsense to begin with... Also, me. Avengers uh, <laughs> Stan Lee cameo. Oh, yeah. Not as good as the Thor cameo. Still the best. Oh, Which that one was, was pretty great. What was the Thor cameo? He was trying to pull the hammer out. Yeah. With this, he was like one of the hicks trying to pull <laughs> oh, the hammer he? out. He, he's the one that actually has the sense to tie his truck to it and try to pull out the hammer. That's pretty good. As long as we're talking about Spider-Man, I was actually like, like I don't know, I was bored yesterday. Probably, in, not yesterday, a few days ago, probably in one of my classes. And was just, I don't know, doing weird things with my hands. Whoa. I suddenly realized that... The Spider-Man hand thing, you know, his the mm -hmm. hand shape he makes, it, you can't do that. What? In one motion, like he he does it to where like his two middle fingers are pressing in and the other two are sticking straight out, and you can't do that in one motion because your pinky folds in with your other ones. I can, Kyle. Yeah. Oh snap! Um, it's genetic. Well, it's kind of like you know the uh, the Spock thing. Yeah. Can you do the Spock thing? It yeah. is genetic. With both hands? Yeah. I can only do it with one. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> and my my mom can't do it with either hand. Um, like, my left hand, it's harder to do the, the spidey thing. I also have really awful hands. Like, my hands are... <laughs> really awful hands? My hands are, like... You think of, a, think of a, a term used to describe it. Describe hands that involves meat. This is my hands. <laughs> I have sausage fingers. I have... I am ham-fisted. <laughs> um, is that mine? They're just kind of generally beefy. It's... <laughs> ham a lot. This is how my hands are. I would be an awful piano player. <laughs> I'm trying to learn to play the piano. You know, like long, clever fingers. I have the opposite of that. I have like <laughs> short, stupid fingers. <laughs> they're just not very bright. Since, since we're like actually like doing things right now, from, there's going to be like all these weird comments in the in the recording that nobody's going to know what we're talking about. Just because we're going to have to cut parts of it out. <laughs> Why? What do you mean? Oh, well, like, <laughs> oh, like, like asking, like, like, well, like the the phone just buzzed, and I said, "Is that mine?" But I don't know if they heard that, and so. It's gonna be interesting. It's just me it's saying that. <laughs> like That's you were okay. talking about your hands, and then we paused, and then just randomly, is that mine? <laughs> <laughs> no, Kyle. I'm pretty sure they're mine. You can take them if you want. They're not that great. Oh God. <laughs> but uh, Spider movie, uh, the Batman movie, I think is gonna be too full of itself, <laughs> and ultimately fail. I mean, this is a possibility. This is, it's kind of hard to match that last one. I mean, it's it no, no. Sure the Dark Knight Rises is. was. Perfect. Um, I have a friend who's, um, well, Rachel's Rachel's best friend is like a Batman aficionado, and he is just like super psyched for this. Um, I'm not sure that I believe Anne Hathaway can pull off Catwoman yet. Yeah. I yeah, she I, I'm getting more and more convinced as more trailers come out. I think she'll be okay. I'm getting more and more convinced that like I don't know what's going on in this movie <laughs> this trailers also, this at is, all. This is also true. Like the last trailer came out, it pretty all much I know just looks is, like you know. We're going to spend an, a couple of hours just sort of punching Bruce Wayne and yeah, dumping plane, him into pits. A plane got hijacked by another plane, <laughs> and and then... And then a bridge blew up. <laughs> and then Bane blew up all the bridges in the football field. Six that was a good tactical move right there. Um, all the prisoners want cake and pasta, apparently. I don't know where that bar's coming from. I like, think Ricky's just hungry. I don't know, like... <laughs> I, I thought it... Nobody else. Nobody else thinks it. Like, I guess they're saying like, uh, like something in Spanish or something oh, weird. Oh, okay. Like when they're chanting. <laughs> but when I first heard it, I could have sworn they were saying, "Cake, cake, pasta, pasta." <laughs> and I'm pretty sure on YouTube there's some like spoof somewhere where they are doing that. But uh, nice. um, you know, uh, I have a, another friend, my other film major, 
um, who might cheat on you with Kyle, um, Aaron at Baylor, she has this thing for Joseph Gordon-Levin, uh, who is going to be in the new Batman movie. And so she is just also, like, I have, a, I guess, a, a biased friend group who all just really, really wants this movie to be fantastic. I know how to make it fantastic. How's that? Watch Batman and Robin right before you go to the midnight release. It'll be the <laughs> best movie you've ever seen. This is this is kind of what my what my what Rachel's friend was talking about. It's like <laughs> with with, ha- with um Catwoman, he's like, you know, I'm not really sure that Anne Hathaway is gonna be the best. But the last time I saw Catwoman, it was Halle Berry. So anything else is going to be incredible. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> also, big plus of the Alamo Draft House, they're uh. Their no talking during the movie announcement yeah. is all Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. Freeze, ice puns. <laughs> oh my god. Because there's a scene in Batman and Robin where Arnold Schwarzenegger is watching him and his wife's wedding or whatever, mm-hmm. and some n- nameless henchman walks in with a newspaper, mm-hmm. and like he freezes him and he says, I hate people that talk during the movies. Mm-hmm. And then after that, they put up a little like text thing, and it's like, chill out, no talking during the movies, and it's like... Be cool. Don't text while the movie is on. We'll kick your ice out of here. Have an ice day. And I'm like, this is my favorite movie theater. I don't know why I go anywhere else. I have not actually managed to make it to the Alamo Draft House yet. Really? You know, it's it's uber expensive. I know, but but for but for, it's um, worth it a lot of times. For uh for Valentine's Day, yeah. uh, They had um a Princess Bride quota law. Yes. And you could there, you could get a special Princess Bride um, branded wine, the uh, the bottle of wits, um, and I so desperately wanted to take Rachel to it, but she was busy um, in Scotland. So <laughs> she was busy in Scotland. I, I couldn't quite make it. Is she on the Scotland Yard? She she actually walked across several Scotland yards, <laughs> <laughs> and a few British ones were so funny. And Welsh. And German and Austrian and French. I think, but I'm not better. I think we killed I think it. Your voice is going to be like way louder than everybody else's. Ooh. Hi. Well, because he's holding it closer to himself. It's not know. my fault, exactly. I'm trying to talk louder just because I'm in the back alone. Am I still on the road? <laughs> <laughs> we are now in a Texan field, as a matter of fact. Uh, Texan yard. Vargas Dang Road. It. How do you not know about Vargas Road? <laughs> Does anybody remember Mr. Vargas? I remember Mr. Vargas. Oh my god. He came in to replace What's-Her-Face. He got, like, choked out by, like, some, uh, some, uh, bipolar kid. What? Oh, like, choked out, like? Like, he didn't pass out, like, like, he's like, Mr. Vargas, you have to change my grades, give me some extra credit because I'm failing. And he's like, nope, can't do that. And the kid, like, flipped and just went, like, doosh, and just, like, held him against the wall. You ever heard about that? No. no. That stuff doesn't Dude. really happen very often there, though, so you think I would have. Dude, like, I had him, and he always made me take all my quizzes and tests out in the hall because everybody was just cheating off of me <laughs> to pass the class. What class was this? Chemistry. Are you no, actually wait, good at chemistry? chemistry? Basic chemistry. Okay, I understand now. <laughs> and, and, like, I, I had the highest grade in the class at an 85 because I didn't do any homework. <laughs> I, uh, I almost... I ever tell you about how the time I... Like, my, my amazing save for chemistry. This is one of my best slacker stories ever. So, like, I was uh, resigned to failing the year in chemistry, Uh-oh. right? Let's I, not take the exit towards the international airport. But we just did. Um, that's okay, we can get back on that tour. Wait, was that the way we were supposed to? No, no that lock, says lock, lock, lock part on it. Over there. What? Yeah, you took the wrong exit. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I said, uh-oh. Yeah. So, uh-oh, recalculating. Time. But... I, I never did any right. homework. I hated chemistry. Chemistry and I did not get along whatsoever. Sure. So I was resigned to um uh, to failing. Yeah. And so I, <laughs> but I, I couldn't exempt it because I was exempting other things. The final. So I went and I take it. It's multiple choice, and I accidentally get a seventy on the final. So I go talk to. I had Mister um uh, oh, he also started with a V. What's his name? Wait. Varegas might have been the good one, and Varez might have been mine. No, there was, um... Oh, wow, I can't even remember his name. Vega. Okay, v- yes, Mr. Vega. Mr. Vega. He was the academic dude, and he was smiling the whole time we were careening to our death. Yeah, that's pretty much how he was, always. Hey, this, this is actually a perfect analogy for my chemistry here. I'm no, no, sorry. no, we were literally careening to our death. <laughs> um, so there was a, uh... uh so I went and talked to him afterwards, like, so can I, like, retake a couple things? 
He's like, sure, sure, whatever you want, you know. And so I come back th- th- at night. I go back home and I do uh, 15 hours of backup chemistry work. Nice. It's an entire year's worth of homework. And then I retake uh, seven quizzes and three tests on a day when I shouldn't actually have even been at school because I had exempted everything on that day. Um, well, that's the airport. Um, this is a problem. So I actually passed chemistry with a 71 after school had ended. Um, this is my, this is one of my very favorite things. Wow, nice. I had a friend that uh, failed English to Miss Billingsley's class because she let him exempt it, uh-huh. and then it turned out he had a 69 average, oh, <laughs> and he no. had to take the final. <laughs> That's horrific. But he was like, he's like, I'm passing, right, for the semester? And she's like, yep. Oh. Uh, it was George. Ninsel High was it? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you remember that guy? Uh, of course I do. He was a cardinal, the dirty. Dirty cardinal. Dirty cardinal. Um, He's like now someplace rural and. Well, that's, that's, that's George. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Not hurting anybody. <laughs> Somehow during this entire recording we haven't like found one thing to make a comment on along the entire road. Uh, your bad talk- driving. We could talk about that, but I figured while you're driving it's not the best time. I mean, this is just kind of, you know. Actually, since, since since we're recording and Ricky hasn't heard it yet, on the way to get Ian, I tried to stop for gas, and the gas station didn't work. Like, was it out of gas? No, well, no, everything was, nothing was broken, it just didn't work. <laughs> like, I, I went to Wait. several pumps, and I kept trying to use it, and it would just always, like, every time I would push a few buttons, it would wind up back in the intro screen. Because <laughs> that's what happens when I do things like pushing buttons. <laughs> that would so. make a terrible John Locke. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> Stupid. John Locke? I, I'm trying to remember. Ian is four episodes, or four, it's not episodes, four seasons into Lost. We're going to watch the last two. Oh, summer. it's a lost thing. It's a lost thing. John Locke is my least favorite character. Apparently, he's everybody else's favorite. I do not understand. <laughs> I kind of wish he would die. How many um, how many times do we have oh, again, it's a hey, look at that. <laughs> I don't think we ever have it's a heroes thing moment. What? Oh, we no. are going to have an episode later cuz I finished the series. You finished it? Yeah. What would you think? Well, see, that's why we're having an episode. Later. <laughs> I, I, I I have to uh at least go back and like reread the summaries or something. Yeah. I watched enough of it to m- mercilessly make fun of it. In a nutshell, season 1, yeah, season 2, awesome, season 3. Uh, Season four. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a season five? No. No, okay. No. That's a problem. No, it's not a problem. It's kind of a mercy, actually. Oh, no, like season four, like they left. Save it, it with, for the like, episode. Save it for the episode. Ah. Uh, we're stuck behind a metro bus. <laughs> yeah. Which is strange because this is nowhere near. I guess it's going to the airport, but we're past the airport. Yeah. I think I haven't said this enough. If you ever are bored and want to watch something amazing from your childhood that you probably didn't watch because you're bad at childhood. Digimon Season 3. Yes, you mentioned that before. Oh, my God. Oh, was this in the episode that I wasn't in? Possibly. I don't, I don't know. know if I cut it out or not. I, I, you <laughs> cut it out? Why? Well, it may not have been intentional. I just... Uh, but we end up carving out, like, a third of this, the actual content <laughs> of the episodes. Just and Digimon and... just doesn't make the cut. <laughs> no, like... If you're watching Digimon I think Digimon you should cut out kid, this one, too. I did actually watch little bits of Digimon. I always thought it was stupid because it's like they evolved and they de-evolved. Like that's clearly, not the point. Clearly, You're missing Pokemon all the character development and well thought out plot. <laughs> Look, a bad guy. Look, I'll become stronger than the bad guy. I win. False. Like, okay, if if you want a lesson on how to write good character development, watch season I will one promise or season three. I will never ever look to Digimon for that. <laughs> oh my god. Let me tell you, the character development... Don't watch season two, because it's just so god-awful, we don't discuss it. You know, if I take off the battery cover, there's a sort of sinister red light. There's like, always a sinister Don't take off light. the battery don't cover. Don't take off the battery cover. Don't recording. do it! Look at that. Just a... Woo! That's kind of fancy. Um, Anyways. I think it's a bomb. Have we mentioned why we're in a car? Oh, we're well, going yeah, to yeah, some we said Link we, thing We said we're going to go to place. Lockhart. Oh, yeah. um, we didn't say why. Oh, yeah, Rhett and Link are going to be there. Um, <laughs> that is the reason. They're going to be there apparently, like, um, what did you say, 10 s- minutes? No, no, it's not until 6.30. Are we actually still on the right path now? Um, we're working to get back onto it. Good job, Kyle. 
Yeah. Let's, hey, look, Waco and San Antonio are both in one mile. The exit. <laughs> That's great right, because Wait, they're normally seriously? they're normally 250 miles in the opposite direction in opposite directions. Um, what? What in the world? <laughs> that's actually our uh, our Where exit. Where are we? <laughs> that is our. I think that's our exit too. Um, I think we've hit the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> yeah, we're taking TX forty five toll south. No, we're we're turning like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you not read the thingy? It says I'm I'm just TX looking at the screen. Okay. It's it's in one and a half miles, which should be about. 10 or 15 minutes at this the screen rate. Overestim- overestimated my intelligence earlier, though, and didn't tell me to stay on the right side of the lane. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, if we just make a UE, we, we get even, to a post we, office. We even told you, like, <laughs> Kyle, whoa, don't exit. And you were like, but By the oh, time you okay. told me that, it was too late. It was it's never no, no, too you late. Were just, you were just you, ignoring us. I think You we're... doubt how dumb people can be on the highway. Like... I've seen people like almost go into reverse to switch lanes. On yes, the but I don't do that. I know, but you still have plenty of time to like, like stop and move over. There were some course corrections to be had. Anyway, Red and Link are doing one of their Good Mythical Morning episodes. We might be in the audience if. Uh, we might be in the audience. Well, I mean, we're going to be, but we might be on the video. How big is the crowd that's really gonna be there? I don't know because I don't know how many people are Maybe around we'll here be the and only have one today free and want to. Go to Lockhart. It also, wasn't the announcement made today? It was made like three days ago. I just noticed today. No, because I'm hey, pretty look, sure it's our niece. What? I was hey, watching the building that says niece on it. I was oh. watching the YouTube announcement of their video, and I'm pretty yeah. sure the YouTube announcement went up like yesterday. No, it was because well, they I mean, said they're sorry for late no, no, late notice. Yeah, I don't know. I just found it today, and I was like, well, I guess I'm going to Lockhart later. I want to know if they're really douchebags. Um, Are they? They don't act like it on their videos. I know, but, <laughs> like, has, has it's just those two. Us? No, nobody's like, I don't know. I don't follow, like... Hey, look, it's a, that's something to comment on. It's a watermelon truck. It I is, don't know. It, it is a truck of various melons. Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw some apples. Sitting, somewhere. like, in the trees <laughs> with the melons in the back of it. And, like, a little tarp. It actually kind of looks like it belongs in Fable. Tarp, yeah, it does. <laughs> There's also a butterfly on the bottom of that bus. For some reason, a beautiful, being, beautiful butterfly billowing on the what butterfly the exhaust booms oh. of that bus. Okay, I, I have no idea what you're talking. Oh, okay. It's not gonna open its wings because I think it's actually. Behold, just bile. What are we and talking about? Bicky. <laughs> what? Why? Why? <laughs> oh. The bombastic butterfly. So I bouncing went, about let's on the a bottom bit. of the bus. <laughs> so I, I don't know what to... happened, but something broke, and I think it might have been you. <laughs> 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 so I went to this weekend Wildwood, Texas, which is near Beaumont, Texas, oh. <laughs> which is backwoods America. It's like, it's like swamp, yep, swamp that's people. Where half my family is from. <laughs> yes, that's no, where this, part of this, my this family is from <laughs> too. If, if you're not from Texas, you've probably not heard a lot about the mythical region known as East Texas. <laughs> so. This is because we like to pretend it's really just part of Oklahoma. <laughs> Which is already all of the Texas we didn't want. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, he was, like, my cousin was graduating. There was a class of 80. Oh, sort, man. <laughs> sort of intense. Also, their graduation was about as long as me and Kyle's. And our, we had 460 some people. How did that happen? Huh? How did Cause that happen? Freaking, okay. When they called somebody's name, that person got up from their row, walked across the thing, got their thing, shook their hands, took pictures, sat down, then they called the next person. <laughs> also, hey, they all entered, now only the, half a mile entered the gym two at a time. <laughs> are we in like some kind of like weird like quantum loop where we're in all, si- all places at the same time? <laughs> like every place we've ever been, we are simultaneously in. Like the Except hiding spots in Torchwood? <laughs> <laughs> what? I said, like, the hiding spots in Torchwood. Uh, I still haven't watched that. You probably wouldn't like Torchwood as much. I I couldn't get past the third episode. Is this the one with the sex ghost? I think so. Yeah, there's a sex ghost. And, like, the British accents just get so taxing. Yeah, the main character... There is not a single person who makes it through Torchwood without having a homosexual experience at least once. I didn't make it through, so I'm like... (laughs) uh, Like... I quit. I was like, I'm there, done there was, with this there show. Was, like, in the third ep- third season, it was actually kind of a big point. Russell T. Davies was making, like, okay, I promise I'll have oh, Jack wait, sleep with... It? Yes. Sleep with some women this time. He didn't, actually. But... <laughs> like, I don't like that guy. 
I've been watching, I watched SC, SG-1, I've watched the majority of that. Well, that's an accomplishment of some sort. I feel like I need to watch some of Sherlock. But SG-1 is Oh no, is it's good. a Moffat show. Oh, it is? It's yeah. a what oh, show? Well, I definitely need to watch yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, we're, we're going to watch, <laughs> I, I need to watch it too, so we should have like a, you know, Apparently a Sherlock Apparently the thing party. to watch right. is Hatfields and McCoys. Right uh, you know what? Well, this is a... the movie theater say so, but I don't. You know what? I I, I see no interest in this. I yeah. I'm gonna watch it because it it's gotta be better than Game of Thrones. What? Game of Thrones is awesome. Uh... Tell me what you could possibly dislike about Game of Thrones. I don't know. Okay, I think we've made it back to a highway of some kind. All right. Look, I can see Waco from here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, range. Uh, you know, we can go there and hang out with ZZ way. Top. <laughs> well, that could be the newfound office. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, the dragon! That I need to exit <laughs> in 0.8 miles. I don't know if they can hear that either. Probably not. Have you named your GPS? <laughs> no. Oh, that's I, why I, I, I've decided that her name is Delilah. All right. Oh god, why would you do Delilah. that? Delilah. Get us home. <laughs> no, we don't need to go home. That's where I came from. Oh, yeah. Get us to Lockhart. <laughs> because I feel like she's very subtly attempting to betray us. <laughs> well, I've, I've found, though, whenever I defy her will, bad things happen. See? Delilah. <laughs> Rerouting. Rerouting. <laughs> this, uh, this also leads to some great puns, like... Hey there, Delilah. What's oh, it like in New York City? God. Let me show you. <laughs> I'll take you there. Was the name of our GPS? Our family GPS is Shaniqua, <laughs> and uh, uh, she can get uh, quite angry sometimes when you don't listen to her. And she has told us to drive off the edge of a bridge <laughs> because, like, she was like, "You need to be on the road underneath the bridge." So she told us to turn left, and we were on a bridge, and we're like, "No, Shaniqua." I haven't named my GPS on my phone, um, but I like her. She's she's a little bit saucy, just a little bit like um, <laughs> like she's like we're moving twenty miles an hour. <laughs> she's like, go ahead and make a legal U-turn if you can. It's, it's like you know, I suppose the, the the intended subtext is don't make one if you can't, but I think the uh, it's the way across is like if you just want to if you want to go sketch with it for a little bit, you know, we need I'm to get like the tell. three Star Fox. Uh, like <laughs> yeah, onto a GPS. That would be great. That I've would be. Galados that would be incredible. Oh yeah, you can you can get um Morgan great. Freeman GPS It'd be like, yeah. It'd be like your father turned left three miles ahead. <laughs> no, there, there's that great Facebook post that's going around. Like, what if uh, Snape did a GPS? Yeah. <laughs> Turn left in two miles. Do not disappoint me. No, it was like uh, okay, and then. And then if you missed, it would be like, like, gee, you missed your turn. How swell. <laughs> and then every now and then, Slip would be like, take care of the guy behind me. <laughs> I could really use some help over here. There's a guy behind you, Fox. <laughs> you know. Your father helped me like that, too. You get on your right exit. I guess I should be thanked. I guess I should be thanked. <laughs> <laughs> I love that game. Uh, I only made it through the whole thing once. So. What? Which which path did you go, I dude? Don't you I can I can no death the hard path. Yeah, the hard path. I is didn't grab it for very long. I kind of oh, got well, it. You know what? It's, it is now on 3ds. No, really. Yep. Well, oh, wait, it's on the regular DS. I have it. No, no, no it's no, on that's, 3ds. That's a different. Oh, wait, no, that's different. No, and yeah, 3ds yeah. though, they edited the lines. What? Well, already, there was already, like, there's already some cartridges, like the N64 cartridges, I'm pretty sure, that have, like, lines edited out of the dialogue. Like what? Like, uh... What? There couldn't have been anything um, Your daddy screamed real good before he died? What? I think that was... I'm pretty sure that's a line. I'm pretty sure I heard that. I actually do remember that line. Yeah, because yeah. I totally remember that, playing, like, the N64. I bought Star Fox as a kid, like, the day it came out. Uh-huh. So I was like, I want to fly planes. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Much better than running around in some stupid castle. Because <laughs> that was the other game I owned. And I was frustrated at that point, I'm pretty sure. So if I push this button, will your garage open? I'm not here. It just <laughs> opened, I promise you. <laughs> We're going to get back to Kyle's house, and everything's going to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. I look at plane. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, look at that. What? Apparently we're still at the airport somehow. It's probably oceanic. <laughs> <laughs> we're just on the island, that's how that's oh, what it is. Oh dear god. Why do they go back to the island? 
Because the island told them to. Okay. You can't say too much about it because Ian hasn't. I, I can't answer too much about it because Ian hasn't got it yet. So I heard that. the last episode. Ah! Was unsatisfying, as all last episodes are. Yeah, to everyone but me. To everyone but you. Kyle seemed to think it was. Sort okay. of like I'm the only person in the world that enjoys the Spider-Man Three movie. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Which really says something with, with about me hating the ending to Heroes. You know, I still think um, the second and fourth Indiana Jones movies are great. I like the second one. <laughs> Most people hate it. I haven't seen the second one, actually. I've seen all Temple of Doom? Of yeah. Oh, Temple of Doom is pretty My great. My favorite's still The Last Crusade. Because Sean Connery. Sean Connery is pretty great. Calling Harrison Ford Jr. Oh, we've been, we started watching, uh, like, we've, we've been Sean Connery so takes out a Nazi bomber with an umbrella. <laughs> and birds. More accurately, has been watching through all the diehards because he's decided that he loves Bruce Willis now. Um, I don't think it's fair to say that anybody loves Bruce Willis. I do enjoy Die Hard. John McClane yeah. is one thing. The, I, I watched um, the third one. Did you hear G.I. Joe get pushed and, uh, back to, really thir- movie, or to 13? Like 2013? The, 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 third, the third Die Hard movie? Yeah, yeah, with what's his face? Pretty good stand- yeah, Die Hardest? Jackson. Was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was so weird because he wasn't playing a Samuel L. Jackson character. Yeah. And he did a really good job. And uh, apparently, like, Reed watched the second one, and apparently it's, like, the dumbest, most exaggerated action movie ever. It's, like, the second one in an... Or the first one in an airport. Yeah, apparently. I mean... Really. And so uh, my explanation for it, based on the opening to the third one, was uh, he, like, drank too much, like, when he dove into alcoholism, and he was hallucinating based on, like, the traumatic event. Yeah. So is Live Free or Die alcoholism. Hard is the fourth one or the fifth one? Fourth. fourth. We haven't okay. watched that one yet, but we just bought it. The fourth one, lots of people will tell you the fourth one is stupid. I I really, really love the fourth one. Yeah. Did you get everybody what a fire sale is. Did you, get the, uh, did you get the director's cut? I don't know. Because they censor the line in the fourth one if you don't get the director's no, cut. Really. I mean, come on now. Come on. Wait, how do you cen- Why would you censor something in a film? Um, so we could get a PG-13. Oh, wait. Oh, no, yeah. We, we got the one that has, like, the two versions on it. Yeah, we watched the director's cut. Yeah, G.I. Joe 2 got pushed back to, to yeah, 2013. So they could, well, but that doesn't, that's not really um, a problem because the first one was awful. It doesn't um, matter. They know how to make a freaking trailer. That trailer had me excited. I was going to go see it. Did you see the Expendables 2 trailer? Oh my god, yes. The Simon's just like, well, the, the plot of the first one was, we have all the action heroes. And then the second one is like, we have all the rest of the action <laughs> yeah, heroes. Yeah, no, like I was going to say, it's like, the, the trailer was essentially like, we got Van Damme to sign. Finally. Was Norris in the first one? Um, I don't know. I didn't see the first one. I haven't either, but I keep people keep telling me I need to. The second one has Chuck Norris and Bruce Willis, so... In one mile, there's I an exit. I have a feeling I'm going to be dragged along by maybe. someone yeah. to go see it. Maybe, I don't know. What's GPS say? What is uh? What does Delilah say? <laughs> 2.4 miles, turn left. All right. We trust you this time, Delilah. <laughs> Even though that sign clearly says Austin Lockhart, half a mile, we'll listen to you. Both of them. Pickle Parkway, let's go there. <laughs> Jake Pickle. There's, it said Jake Pickle on the sign. I think we have to this detour. Like, <laughs> because we've been the road, I heard on one of the morning shows on the radio one time, somebody talking about a road where he started going like 90 miles an hour and people were passing him like he was standing still. We might be getting near that area. Okay. I love the Autobahn. <laughs> you know, the Texas version. The Dare Autobahn. I was good. speeding. It was like a 70 road come back home or whatever. Uh-oh. I was speeding going 80. Was and Uh-oh. like no, people were passing me. Grounds. I don't know if that's bad or not. What? It could be stopping us from like zooming off the edge of an unfinished road or something. Which Wait, okay. what? what's bad or not? Yeah, okay. It's just closed up. I think we should go through it anyway. <laughs> Adventure. I mean, that's also what we would have missed, huh? No, no, oh, wait, it's no, it's going. It, uh, it just goes onto this on ramp. This on ramp <laughs> that zooms off to the left and does nothing. So yeah, there's that. Have you seen Speed? I've not seen Speed. What? Seven miles. Have you seen Speed? I like, know. I know. Like the bomb goes off, the bus oh, the goes bus less thing. than fifty no, miles an hour. Either. Oh my god, are you singing to our GPS? <laughs> Serenade it. <laughs> it's 
So other news in blockbuster season, Battleship bombs. Oh God! Imagine. <laughs> I still want to go. I, I want to go Bay see it. A board game. I'm waiting for it to hit the discount theater. When it hits no, the no. discount theater, we'll all go. I mean, look. You know, I was afraid that um, it was going to be. Realize, like, wait a minute. Where do you think I am? I'm now flying. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to get on that on ramp that went off to absolutely nowhere. Actually, is that what it was? I think so. Just go 88 miles per hour. We'll go back in time and try this whole trip again. Yeah, you better. Recalculating. There's, we're not on an existing road anymore. You know why? No! Delilah! There. In 0.3 miles, turn. Right. <laughs> What's going on? Onto Tom Sampson we Road. We apparently exited whatever little bubble universe we've been in this entire time. Wait, wait, wait. So, wait, wait. Delilah is telling us to get onto Sampson Road. Is that no. what's happening? Uh, no, it actually no longer knows where we are. We're floating in negative. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dear God. Apparently, we were at some point transported into some kind of like weird... Sprint GPS, save us. Dimension. We went off, we tried to leave the <laughs> island on the wrong bearing. <laughs> Dude, does one of you have a uh, Yeah, yeah. A I do. Thing what's the name of the place? Take over for Delilah. Here, I, I, I've got it, i got it. Just name the place, bro. Um, I don't remember. Cruz, Cruz, K R E U Z, um, K R E U Z barbecue. Yes. In Lockhart. We're still doing okay on time though, as long as we get there in 25 minutes. Are we gonna eat after the show? I guess. Might be able to order during it. I don't know how it's gonna work. I don't know when the show starts. I don't know what. what I thought you said okay. Well, there's Cruz Market. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Recalculating. Yeah, I, I know what you're trying to do. Well, um, I haven't actually got come upon an exit yet. It says that this this version will take us 21 minutes to complete. All right, well, good. Um, so just you're gonna take up ahead. You're gonna be able to turn around. You need to do that. Doing what? Like there's gonna be a, a, a cross street, Wait, and you need to make. We're on a highway. I know. You need to take this this highway in the opposite direction. Yes. When do we exit? That's what I'm seeing too. I mean, it's like the next left you get. It's happening in like uh, left. Point two miles. The next left. Yes. Point two miles. Farm to market oh, road. You know what? It thought we were on the. Uh, it thought we were on the access road. Oh my god. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. So I need to be. Hold off on. No, no, no. False. In um, two point eight miles, you're gonna exit to North Turnersville Road. Yes. It's doing the same thing, but now it's like, oh, so you're not actually on the access road. It's gonna take us twenty six minutes to get there now. No, that we'll get there at 631. Recalculating. We'll have to make a dramatic entrance. Never fear, Rhett. Never fear, Link. Is that his real name, Link? No, I'm so. Lincoln. Oh, okay. Recalculating. Rhett is the real name, though, which I didn't know. I you didn't know Rhett before. was a real name? No, I've never heard anyone name that before. I've known people named Rhett. Oh, yeah. Speaking of weird names... I never finished my Backwoods Cousins graduation stories. Oh, we yeah. Ended up, like, on the road to infinity or something. Yeah. My so, God, like, it's full of stars. Where is the exit? Is it, I mean, do, do I 1.8 on? miles. Okay. I'm just going to let you do it because I don't want to sacrifice my phone battery. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we going to edit that out? I don't think we are allowed to edit that out. I think we. the I world needs to know. Like this. Especially with all this background noise, you're going to be able to tell pretty easily that I made a cut. <laughs> we could just make it into a montage of, you know, various interesting things. Yeah, I don't know how, to do that. how much time is on the recording, by the way. Forty-seven minutes. Oh, oh. Look at that. Also, your uh, your car clock is fast by a minute. So, it's still eighty, right? What? The speed limit is still eighty. Yeah. Delilah, shut up. You don't know where you're going. <laughs> you know what? I don't think Delilah did well in math. <laughs> I'm checking my answers, but it keeps coming out different. I have to recalculate. <laughs> Delilah. Why? Of course, when I said we're driving into infinity, I apparently meant East Texas, because that's where we seem to be all of a sudden. Difference? <laughs> Delilah is still attempting to get Isn't Waco Road. in East Texas? W Waco is actually the dead middle of Texas. Yeah, that, that, that was... But apparently we were right next to Okay, it. this is the exit. Okay. Take that. Then turn left onto that thing. Okay. 
And then you're going to turn left And again. then you're going to get back on going the other way. <laughs> all right. So all that driving we just did, we're going to undrive it. <laughs> <laughs> just drive it in reverse. I don't see any problems here. <laughs> that really would have been the better way to do it. It's like, really, you're only going the wrong way if you're pointing the wrong way. That's what I've been led to believe. Well, according to video games. Right. Shut up, <laughs> No, <Tyler>. turn left. <laughs> Delilah, you are wrong. <laughs> well, see, this thing needs an update, and it constantly tells me it needs an update, but you have to pay for it. Like you have to purchase an update in for this right, thing. Right, left. You know what? Now you can just use your phone. Uh, your phone can do this. Yeah, no. I haven't figured out how to set it all up or anything yet, though. Oh, it's just part of Google Maps. Yeah. Like, there's just Google Navigate, and it does it. Uh, okay. That's what I use. Dig well, I like you were relieved of duty. Oh, I don't know. I liked her uh, yammering yeah, I, I, on about have... roads that aren't there. <laughs> that was I, sort of fun. I have seen 2001 too recently to think that this is going to end well. <laughs> um, I was thinking, though, that if we left her on, like, fun side quest, just listen to what she says and see where we end up. <laughs> we tried that. We ended up here. <laughs> I started driving and turned it on, and then, like, ten minutes into getting to Ian's house, all of a sudden, like... Turn left. You know what's funny? Over, and it's like telling me to go somewhere. I was really tempted just to go and see where, <laughs> see where it was leading me. You know what's funny? You remember, do you remember? Back, like, we can go to the recording and find it. But I was like, Kyle, you should exit here. But Delilah said no. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I guess we'll trust you, Delilah. Even though that sign clearly says Lockhart that way. <laughs> I was right. I am smarter than Delilah. <laughs> what am I doing next? So, 4.3 miles and we're gonna exit onto 183 South. Okay. I'm uh, I'm glad I cut my hair. Why? Because she would have done it for me, probably. What? Who? Delilah! Oh dear God. <laughs> she does that, you know? Oh yes. I feel like she's gonna like hack into the, the electronics of the car. She's gonna like, make your fuel gauge go all the way down. Yeah, I would like you need to stop for gas. You're gonna stop, we're all gonna get out, and, and she's, she's gonna, gonna lock like, the door. Electrify it or something. <laughs> oh. uh, when cars attack. Have you talked about Technicus on this thing before? <laughs> <laughs> Technicus oh. is the god of like, technology, and he hates us. Tele technological malfeasance. Yeah. Um, also, this weird thing seems to happen where whenever a whole bunch of us are together at once, something goes horribly wrong. This time it seems to be that we were teleported into some kind of like weird parallel, the Twilight Zone. Yeah, where okay, like everything so, exists simultaneously at this in the same point. So in uh, in my car, my AC goes up to five, and five is amazing. But if you leave it on five for too long, <clears throat> the AC will turn off and it won't turn back on for like five minutes. And so there's a god of the five. And if you abuse the five, he will taketh away all of your air conditioning. So we do not abuse it, the five. Hey, Ricky, you are now the GPS, so you gotta tell me when yeah, we're Yeah, 2.6 exit. miles when you exit. Alright. 23 South. I, you know what? At this point, I don't actually even see where we're gonna end up. Like, I, I feel like we're just gonna, like, drive up to this one little lone restaurant in the middle of a field somewhere. Well, I've told you about my trip to Oklahoma before. Yes, you talked about it on the episode. I think it was, On know, every episode, Ian. Yes, well, I feel like this is very much the same thing. We're going to get up, and there's going to be a toothless woman trying to sell us <laughs> fried ostrich pies. I would buy them. You would die. <laughs> <laughs> this is what natural selection is all about. <laughs> uh, I'm open your, oh, you flipped up your, your visor. I can't open your garage again. <laughs> Why is this guy, is he going 80? Are you going 80, Tyler? No, I'm going 60. Passing. Go around this guy and go 80. All right. That's right. We're passing. Oh, my gosh. This baby can handle up to 9,000 degrees. This <laughs> <laughs> can handle temperatures up to 9,000 degrees. Does anybody else, like, when you get too hot, you just think about that sun level and <laughs> slip going, it's too hot. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> no, just me. <laughs> Shoot the rocks. <clears throat> you know, when I, uh, I was always very fond of just killing Slippy as soon as I could. Um, <laughs> when I was, like, eight and first had that game, the strategy to beat the Star Wolf level on the third planet, if you go the easy way, uh -huh. was... How are we doing? We're coming up to a big, swirly, massive okay, road. Okay, in point eight miles, you're taking 183 south exit. You see the one that says Austin Lockhart? Lockhart. Yeah. 
You're doing that. So just stay you're here, taking go it. As right as you're taking it, and then you're turning right as soon as you get off. So um um. The strategy is in the first level, shoot down all your teammates. Uh huh. And then in the second level, do it by yourself. And on the third level, then they would all be fully repaired for the the Star Wolf fight. Nice. Now the uh. Um, yeah, I think there's an exit right here. This is the yes. exit. Take it. Woo! We did it. Navigate roads. <laughs> you know that one? There's that one up uh, level where if you don't beat the boss like fast enough, or just do battle. Turn, turn. Uh -huh. Oh, look at that! <laughs> if, if you don't um, beat the boss fast enough, he grabs Slippy. Really? And like, oh, there's no way around I it. That. Yes, there is. You can either you beat the boss really, really fast. You can't kill him fast enough. I have before. Because I've killed him while he was in mid animation of throwing Slippy. I mean, I, I, I've actually done it once. Once I killed him fast enough. The other way to do it is to kill Slippy before you get to yes. him. Yes. <laughs> this is great because if you don't do that, you don't you have to go to, to the that god stupid awful desert. tank level. Nice. No, you have to go to a tank level. There's only one way to not go to a tank level, and, and that way... Next? Okay, in 9.4 miles, you're going to, like, slight left onto Boise Road. All right. Yeah, so... Anyways, um... The only way that doesn't involve a tank level is the hard path, and that involves the submarine level. Oh, but but I mean, the tank level is so much better if you don't, if Slippy doesn't get thrown away. The, the train level? Yeah. That train level is just way too easy, and then suddenly very, very frantic. Yes. I, like, I did do the tank level on her. That is my least favorite level. If you just kill Slippy, you don't have to worry about it. The worst, yeah, the worst one is definitely the desert level. I heard rumors at one point that there was a way to get out of the, like, there was a, some level or something. Like, it was one of those stupid things that you would, you know, like, people would make up back in yeah. elementary school that you, like, there was a level somewhere that you could get out of the ship. Oh, no. Right. Um, but there is a way to get on foot in the multiplayer. I thought there was something like not, that. Not in the, uh... In the original Star Fox 64. In the 64? You have to, like, get medals on all the planets. Yeah, I, I, it's kind of a legit thing in uh, Star Fox Assault. Yeah, but like that's the one problem with Star Fox Assault. I really enjoyed Star Fox Assault. I did that. too. I yeah, I didn't play that one much. I, like, no, no, no. There's Star Fox Assault and there's Star Fox Dinosaur Planet. Yeah. Which actually, if you do the research on Dinosaur Planet, it it's actually, actually started. I mean, it was called Star, Shop, Star Fox Adventure. No, it was okay, but it started off as um, a separate game entirely called, called Dinosaur Planet. Called Dinosaur Planet. And then they're like, you know what would make this game sell better, Star aside Fox. from being, you know, if we didn't call it, like, let's be honest, John Dinosaur Tron does Planet. it best. A wild Shigeru Morimoto was wandering through London one day, and he has like this little animation of like mini Shigeru Morimoto, like. Dancing with the superstar music, you know what I'm talking about? Like the. Yeah. It's like, uh. He goes to Rareware and he goes, I see what you got here. You got a fox. We we got a fox. Put him in there and cocky little freak. It'd be great. And then Star Fox Dinosaur Planets. You know I actually really enjoyed that game. Um. um was, no. Like, it was a sucky Star Fox game. But it was actually a pretty okay GameCube game. Especially considering it was a launch title. Like, Luigi's Mansion was better. Luigi's Mansion was better. I Luigi's that. Mansion 2 on Nintendo 3DS is a thing, and that's incredible. Yes, anyways. But, um, like, the game is, it's, it's, it's a bad Zelda game, though. I mean, so is, like, so, but the ending of the game is amazing. It's worth it. I if never actually can, got to the end. You never got to the ending? I never actually owned the game. I just played it at first. Oh, time. you sir, like, like the game sucks. It's a bad Zelda game, as I said. But the payout at the end, I think, is almost worth it. Are we still um, talking about Star Fox? Yeah, yeah. Ish. At the very end of the game, you free crystal from the little like crystal. How am I doing? Ha uh, ha. Uh, six point five miles till right. the exit. Um, you free free her from the little thing, the the. Krizoa god thing takes off into space and you have to chase it with your ship. Right? Uh-huh. And so you start shooting the little Krizoa god. There was a vehicle behind us and there isn't. Welcome to our life. Uh, he exited. But, uh... Existence. Yeah, in the twilight zone. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> but uh, after you well, beat see, up that, the little... That was my first thought, but I didn't think we were by an exit anymore and I just looked he, uh, up and he was gone. He took Exit Limniscate into the void. So after you shoot up, like, the Krizoa God or whatever, which the, also the Krizoa God 
it kills General Scales for you. You don't get to fight him. Okay. Um, the the statue head flips around, and it's Andros on the back. Of um, course it is. With like no skin. It's like right. really disgusting looking Andros, and the only way to beat him is with bombs. Uh-huh. But you don't have any, and then Falco comes in, and he flies his little ship, and he drops bombs for you, so you can kill Andros and win. And this... Falco has, like, sunglasses on, and is epic, <laughs> and it was like, thank God, they didn't ruin Falco. Yeah. Like, they ruined everybody else in this game. But no, Starbucks Salt was awesome. Like, I think Peppy dies, and... Sarah General Pepper, Sergeant Pepper. I, I whatever don't think, I the think dog. Sergeant Pepper is something else. No, no, no. no. Is, is his name General Pepper? Yeah, whatever. You know, they made Sergeant a dog. Pepper has the Lonely they, Hearts Club band. Yes, I know that. <laughs> so. but they they made they made a dog and they decided to name they made him a ranking member of the military <laughs> and decided to name him Pepper. How did they not think that would get mixed up? Anyways, <laughs> they probably didn't think the fan bases were all that close. Whatever. The dog <laughs> thing also dies in that game. Like, everybody dies in that game. Rob64 dies in that game. Uh-huh. I know, right? <laughs> I, I felt so attached to that character. Yeah, he, he, always, he always said I was doing such a good job. <laughs> he gave me things. <laughs> I officially said Trump. Slippy's oh. ship is in the docking bay. Oh, look, it is that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a billboard that's at officially central, like, the game trigger, so... What? There, there's these stupid billboards with... Did advertising like? Did like, advertising work? It just did. did. Yeah, that, those I don't even words. remember how, but during our trip to Lake Hawkins, that turned into a Finchley Central <laughs> trigger. Like oh, for yeah, the game yeah. that we all just lost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Except for me, who won? Um, <laughs> you didn't win. You just, do you, I, do you, I want. Do I, you have a Platinum Angel in your pocket? <laughs> Dang it, no. <laughs> then you, sir, have lost the game. Uh, but I do win Finchley Central, so it kind of counteracts. I think we talked about this on one of your episodes, actually. Oh, okay, I don't care. Yeah, I know. I don't go back and listen to those things. <laughs> I haven't listened to any of the white noise, but you this guys episode, should listen to white this, noise. This won't be an actual episode. I mean, I think I'll release this as, like, every now and then maybe I'll put out, like, a bonus Bonus track content. Or especially since I didn't edit the Jazza one this last week because I was the, too busy. Why didn't you do the... Why didn't you watch Rocky before you climbed the Rocky steps? I watched that bump, scene. Bump, 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 how are we doing? All right, in 2.8 miles is Boise Road. Okay. Is that on the right? It... It looks like uh, it looks like a left, but it looks all like a right. It's hard to explain. You're as bad as Delilah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Delilah actually gave us legitimate answers. They were just wrong. Okay, you're so worse like, than Delilah. <laughs> At least Delilah had confidence. <laughs> like, cause like, uh, it says it's a left. We're gonna say it's a left. It's a Boise Road. How did the Jazz episode turn out? Good. Um, I have to edit out a lot of swearing, unfortunately. Oh dear. Is Jazz one of those? He's all of those. Oh. <laughs> and it wasn't me or Ethan. I would imagine not. Um, this is just confusing. You know what? If you'd like, I can. Uh, that can be how I can contribute to this episode. <laughs> Give me the fruit names. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I can record myself saying fruit names. Can I do that, please? Yeah, I guess. I was kind of excited about using my beep. I've never gotten to use that before. The okay, fruit names are so, so what it's going to be here... I will, I will provide... Give me your instances of swearing, Okay. and I will find a fruit name for every single one. <laughs> like, individual instances. It doesn't matter. There are enough fruits in the world. You should just record so... a library of them for me. Papaya! <laughs> Mango! Banana! Okay, I, I, I have to show you a thing. There has to be a thing I must show you. Um, give me a minute. I will find the thing. Um, rhubarb? What? Oh, rhubarb is not a... No. Rhubarb isn't even a word. Okay, Wait, so like this Boise we, thing or whatever. He said rhubarb. Oh. So what's going to happen is like you're going to exit left uh-huh. onto some toll road, which is eventually going to reconnect with 183. Sounds complicated. It is. Why did we get off of 183 then? I because we were on 183. So the Google Maps had to take Parmer over our left. We eventually got onto 183. We were on all roads at once. We've been. <laughs> we were going through way too much for this. Okay, when am I turning left? You're not turning left. You're not exiting left. left. Am I on point, something to exit? It's point eight miles. I 
so this isn't an exit. No. So. We're just gonna have our whole just drive recorded. That's all this is gonna be. I'm not even gonna edit it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna edit it. I'm just gonna <laughs> like, put it up on the you, internet. You deserve this. Let's be honest. I'll just do like bonus number one or something. Bonus number one. It's like one hour of us. Everything at Delilah. <laughs> everything is gonna happen. I mean, you, honestly, like, can you cut background noise a little our, bit? Or our no? listeners' base, no, nah, not really. Our no. listeners' base is so small that, like, really, I mean, they're all gonna listen to it anyway. <laughs> because it's, like, you're either gonna listen to this or you're not. Let's we, be honest. Quite honestly, we only get about forty listeners um, for per episode now. But every single one of them is actually very dedicated to the show, so that's why I feel obligated to keep doing it. Really. I need to release Fable 3 experience because then that will that will kind of boost it a little bit. That and I've got the Portal video coming out soon. I got another rush of videos coming, so. Right, I, I think. Am I getting close? Well, I don't. I. What? Well, I don't like this. I, I don't either. What did you do? I. What? <laughs> but why? Turn. No, uh, but. Uh. <laughs> why? You would make a very bad GPS. Where, where, what's, what are we doing? What do I do? Okay, okay. In, in, what, must be there in six minutes. I don't, no, it says 20 minutes away. What? <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh. Ricky, let me see the phone. Okay, I'm turning Delilah back on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Point nine miles to destination on right. Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll see what happens. Cause, cause, I hope that picked that up on the microphone. Oh my god. Just in case it didn't. Drive 2.9 miles to destination on right. Okay, so, so. I like this version better. <laughs> so, so in, in 0.2 miles, you're supposed to. Look at the gym church. Take a. Okay. What? That's what I call those because they look like old YMCA buildings. Alright, oh, it says. Yeah, so it says, do. okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down. It's supposed, supposed to say, like, take a turn now. <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> I mean, that's a turn. It's got like construction vehicles guarding it. <laughs> I, I don't even. I don't, what is this? Dig, look, get off the chair. That doesn't even make sense. What? We, we couldn't find a route to your destination. Look here, look, look. You can see it on the screen now. We're I'm sorry. There. You're just so hopeless. This is this is I Delilah's know, plan well. all along. Close. You know what she <laughs> hacked to prove that she was. She, she hacked into I don't Ricky's even think phone. You're even there. She, I think they found a place that doesn't exist and made it on like Wikipedia, Google Maps. See how many people that could get lost on the road. Said so it was going to exit right, right. And now Delilah gets to come back in. It and says be the it's 1.6 yeah. miles. Um, destination is on the right. Oh, it does that now? <laughs> That's what's just on my phone now. <laughs> did Quentin previously not think it existed? Yeah, no, like, it, it doubted that the place existed. It's a very Do cynical you see where GPS. we are? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure we're in a place that exists. <laughs> so, so yeah, my GPS just got cynical, apparently, that the place even existed. <laughs> you know what? Or Screw the world! Even, or that roads even existed? <laughs> and then it, like, it put blue lines everywhere. <laughs> like, I don't even think you, you understand. We're gonna walk in and it's just gonna be like Rhett and Link standing there with like, you have completed the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Please have a cupcake. It says we're now a minute away, point nine, but it still says we can't find a route to your destination. That's so, weird. so yeah. Mine has point nine. This this road is recognized. So. So I have an awesome thing to show you. It's really close. great. I but have to not miss it now. Uh, okay. So point seven miles. So there was this amazing animation I found at one point. Really? Um, and it just is like this. Oh look, we're entering like a city thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Black barbecue is close we're to the place we're actually supposed Lockhart. to go. Okay, I have faith in this now. 0.5 miles to Cruz's Market. If anybody ever wants to hide out from the government or anybody else in the world, go to Lockhart. <laughs> so you realize that this is this isn't Cruz's Market. This is Cru Market. If you spell it with an X, it looks French now. Oh, I did that by accident. <laughs> Maybe that's been this whole problem, Kyle. But but I told Ricky to do it with the Z. They haven't. I mean, you guys both searched it. I used the Z. I just punched the name in wrong. It's point, okay, I, point two miles on the right. This is it. Um. Yes. Ah. Uh, I've actually eaten here before. 
No way. Yeah, yeah. It's actually pretty fantastic. Yeah, this is, I think this is it. Balls right. to the wall. That's awesome. Delilah, right. you saved us all. No, no, no. My <laughs> GPS. <laughs> See what it, I said? It, like, Question her and everything <laughs> goes wrong. <laughs> We're so sorry, In Delilah. Fact, no, it was taking us the opposite direction. I bet if we kept going, we would have gotten here. <laughs> it would have circled the globe look to it, get look at here. This thing. It looks like a Prius combined with like a station wagon. All right, well, we're going to go and cut out the recording right now. Oh, my God. In case right. we don't come back. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Internet. Bye. Whoever finds this recording. <laughs> <laughs> we were lost in a parallel dimension known as Lockhart. <laughs> Tell our families we love them, but not too much. <laughs> I just started recording. So, uh... We're done with the thing. With, there's no script. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, with Lincoln, Rhett, Rhett and Link. Yeah. Link, Rhett, Link. Rhett is so tall. He is amazingly tall. They didn't seem like douchebags. Well, yeah, well, they don't in the, their videos either. I, I know, but I'm just saying. Internet I, people. I kind of was hoping know. that they'd sing something. Me too. You know, you know what? Link has a very slight kind of southery accent. They're from North Carolina. Yeah, both of them do a little bit, but they've lost it. But I mean, it's, it's like they look like they're California people. <laughs> and they look very Californian. And yeah. they've been doing, I don't know, I like them a lot more than I did this morning now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Um, they were pretty entertaining. Um, they kept describing this amazing barbecue that we <laughs> we didn't get to eat. Because we waited in line to, 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 to shake their hands. And take pictures with and them. take pictures with them. We, uh, we got there as they were turning off the lights by the pits. I guess that's why we got in before everybody else, because everybody else was eating. And we shut up. <laughs> God. We're attempting to use Delilah again. Did you not know where I was that entire time? <laughs> Did that what just happened? It still thinks you're in the You were just telling me to go some we're, random direction? We're on 183. Just follow it. Don't listen to her. <laughs> Don't listen to her. Just take 183. You know, second star on the right. Head on till morning. <laughs> How much time do we have on that? She is a temptress card? and a deceiver. Is there a place where it tells you that? At the bottom. Turn right. Yeah, yeah. No, there's no right turn! <laughs> Oh, we have 30 seconds. Wait, seriously? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, That's thanks awesome. for listening. Um, um, we're going to sing Row, Row, Row Your Boat till this no, dies. No, 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 no. Part, part row, it off. Row, row, row <laughs> your, your boat. boat. Gently <laughs> down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Now in a round. Row, row, row your boat. Gently row, down the stream. Row, row your boat. <laughs> 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 Do you not know what a round is? <laughs>